hello, test one, two, hello, hello. How now, brown cow? Ho, uh, no, brown cow. Unique New York. Unique New York. Today the human torch was denied a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I thought I explained the scene. Yeah, it's uh, Anchorman. There we go. When he's doing all the tongue twisters and he like, yeah, he goes through how now brown cow, unique New York, and then something else, and then he's like, today the Human Torch was denied a bank loan. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> sure. All right. Yeah. We're good. We have visuals. Good. We have everything. We up and running. We are up and the running. We live. We living. We do it live. We Fuck it. Let's live. do it live. We do it live. We do it live. We do it live. Hi! We're here much later than normal. It's because I was too busy becoming a four-eyed freak. <laughs> though I don't have my glasses yet. Don't have the glasses yet. Working on it, though. But they have been prescribed-ed. prescribed -ed -ed. So I have to pick them up later. Alright. Yeah, so. Because of, because of the lateness of this stream, we will probably not beat it today. But, we will... Ah, uh, I... I'm, I'm looking to set it up so that we will be in a position to just fight the final boss on the next stream. Yep. And then we and then we go to the third, I mean, No More Heroes 2. <laughs> yep. We'll go to Almost No More it. Heroes 2, and then after No More Heroes 2, we'll go to No More he Heroes... 2.5? 2. Actually, no. It's not 2.5. He said, um... Because I, I did listen to the that video that did you know he wanted to say it takes place after the second one but before the third one. Oh, did he yeah i thought it was he i thought he said it took place after all of them like any like if the third one comes out it would be take place before travis strikes again oh i didn't know that i i thought that i thought he said it because it takes place i thought he said that this was a preparation of what is to come for travis oh maybe that could be yeah i'll have to do more research into it um yeah, I, I thought I saw a comment about him saying this is just supposed to be after everything. So, I don't know. Well, please, please, No More Heroes 3. Please happen. <laughs> he said it's happening. That oh. everyone, that he did, I thought that I was pretty sure it was like, since everyone really was hyped for for Strikes Again, he wanted to do it now. Yeah, he definitely, I heard he wanted to do it. I know, I know um, Travis Strikes Again is supposed to be testing the water, obviously, but um, I don't know if he... Yeah if it garnered enough uh, monetary value to actually al allow Grasshopper to or have Grasshopper allow him to make a third one, but I hope to God he is working on it because, oh, man, that would be dope. Look at that clipping. Yep. Clip right through your cat. Um, it was that. Something else, I, before it, it was... I guess, but um, crash report Adobe desktop service. Enjoy. Stream still good? We're not streaming through Adobe. No, I know, but I, with Adobe crashing on your computer, I wasn't sure if that got in the way of anything. No. no. Um, it was just funny. It was just, huh, I'm not even yeah. using anything Adobe and it crashes. Yeah, all right. yeah, all right. Um, Something that was mentioned that because we were hit with a copyright, and I mentioned it as like I think it was from the store. It it I, it was confirmed this time for me that it, it is the clothing store that we keep getting copyright from. Oh, okay. Um. And then a cohort in crime here suggested we not go to the games, uh, go to the clothing store anymore. But I said fuck that because we need new duds. Because apparently Travis is that rich guy that doesn't wash his clothes, just <laughs> throws them away and buys new ones. Exactly. It's the only way to do it. Um, what are the M's? The M's are free missions. Those are the ones where, like, if you take one hit, you're done. You kill right. And close again. Um, I think we're getting money. Uh, yep, I believe you're right now. We're talking getting money for the next fight. Um, I, I would say, I think I had it. I we have fifty thousand right now. I'm pretty sure we need four hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, if we do the one I was doing last night, where we run. Basically, run through a train, just kill everyone on the train. 
um, you get 50,000 each run of that. Okay. Uh, so that would be, you could do that in like... I'm going the wrong way for that then. Yeah. They could be done in like eight runs, which... Great. We could, eight runs. Yeah. All right. Could switch it up, because yeah, 50,000 and 400. Yeah, I get it, but, but eight uh, runs. Yeah, and obviously we don't have to do it every time you can switch it up, but that's just like... Yeah, I, as far as I uh, as far as I know, I think that would just be the quickest, just like, the quickest mission for the most uh, payout. I just realized I was too busy listening to you and hitting the trees that I passed the store again. You did. You, you're doing great. <laughs> I was I was in the zone of knocking trees over like dominoes. Exactly. You gotta, it is Santa Destroy. You gotta make sure there's no trees. You gotta, right it's right. Santa Destroy. I was living up to the Destroy part. Yep. That's wrestling yeah, moves only on the beach. I think it's 13. We'll find out. Yep. If it leads to a subway station, then we nailed it. Also, I was uh, telling this to uh, telling this to Nick on. Uh, or, I think it was last, yeah, last time we did the stream, but we are we are going to be coming up on who I think is my my personal favorite assassin um, is going to be in this stream. Is it the one that the title's on about? No. Oh, okay. No. Um, although that one is great. I, that is the only one I actually know about. But I I don't I don't know what she knows about what she knows about what she <laughs> looks like. I just know what she is and her concept. Oh. Okay. That's it. I don't even know what she looks like. Oh wow. Yeah. In that case. I don't, that, yeah, I've never seen the cutscene. I've never seen. I just know of her. That's gonna be fun to get to then, because I, as much as I love the other assassin that we're gonna be getting to, I do think the assassin we're coming, the assassin we're coming up on, is probably my, uh, like my favorite cutscene of all. Ah, you missed it, by the way. I was hoping to get off like a pro. Yeah, no. You did not. I didn't. You had to do, do a big lane. Yeah. Pretty sure we picked the right mission. Um, so yeah, this gets us 50,000 per run. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We had a laser bat. <laughs> yep, got a laser bat. Ah, oh, it's such a good design for a beam katana. It's a bat. It's not a katana. They're all called beam katana. <laughs> that is not a katana. <laughs> it's a die katana. <laughs> no. <laughs> I no, I don't think you do. He doesn't feel good. He says missing half of his torso and his head and all. I don't feel shit. <laughs> doesn't feel shit. I'm gonna miss this one. <laughs> I'm interested to see what, what the last one is, but I'm gonna miss this. Yeah. But I'm a sucker for bats. Um, yeah, also the, um, uh, the one after this is pretty good, but I, I do think, like, that's my favorite. And also, I actually just, I think, like, the Katana's like, so... Like their their power, or their attack damage, so like these are going to stick with just one. It would be harder, or one of those ones, or the other ones, it would be harder, but we would be able to do it, I believe. Okay. What's up? I'm just turning this down real quick to make sure I'm not going to echo into the mic, because that is kind of. My spleen! My spleen! Um, yeah, like, I don't doubt that if you. If, if, like, if someone wanted to. Just say, like, the Bloodberry is my favorite one. I'm going to use that the entire run. Like, they probably could. It, well, there's will to the way. Exactly. Remember, someone beat Dark Souls with bananas. That's true. My favorite is the uh, Dark Souls Bongos. Bananas. Bananas great. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, something about Donkey Kong Bongos just cracks me up. 
bananas. <laughs> he wired bananas Yo. and played Dark Souls. Yo. At least the Donkey Kong bongos are an electronic device. <laughs> that is true. But like, just the idea, just like, hold on, I gotta beat Dark Souls real quick. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> hold on, I gotta beat Dark Souls. Will you? Can you touch banana number twenty-seven so I can take three steps? That's yeah. Oh, I'm not sure why I jumped there, but I'm okay with it. Because you moved the uh, the thing up, the green road up. We did hit up uh, Thunder Rio, right? Sure. Yeah, we did everything. Oh, okay. We did. I know we did everything before. Oh, okay. Cool. <sighs> Until you get for crashing directly on the spot. <laughs> Has to be a full stop. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The grinding. The grind of this has always been like I I understand why it's in and I do find it fun. Um, this one seems worse than the other ones. A little bit, yeah. The only then again, yeah. we bought a lot of things last time. At the end, we bought all the katana upgrades. Yeah, exactly. Like we we got a decent amount of money after that assassination, but we we blew it all. Um, so when you get up to you know four hundred and fifty thousand, it's a little tough to actually get that all back. I know. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Way to stab your bike. There you go. You feeling this? <laughs> um. Also, once again, put Travis in Spanish, please. Thanks, Kev. Um. Super 51 posted uh, a picture of him in Sakurai like a couple weeks ago. Just hanging out and stuff. I'm pretty sure that means he's confirmed now. Yes, but you think you think the next one's gonna be Crash Bandicoot? So, I oh, did you not hear the news about Xbox Live? Oh, I heard about it. You did? Okay. I think I think that makes Crash Bandicoot like a lot more viable, honestly. Um, like yeah, the whole Xbox Live Switch thing, and also um. The fact that apparently people, like a bunch of people, went to Phil Spencer on um, on Twitter and were like, "Hey, how about you put the, you give them permission to put that Crash Band or Crash Bandicoot or Banjo Kazooie in?" We've been talking about Crash Bandicoot or Banjo Kazooie this whole time. Crash Bandicoot <laughs> or um, Banjo Kazooie. You were okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He just had a stroke there. Don't worry about it. But um. <laughs> Yeah, Banjo Kazooie. Now you have me second guessing myself. Yeah, right. I'm like, wait, did we accidentally yeah, say Crash? Uh, no, I, I, I know. I, at least I, I'm pretty sure I said uh, Banjo, 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 Banjo. Um, Banjo. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not even sure how you got hit. I was <laughs> But yeah, no, like yeah. Apparently, Phil Spencer was like, yeah, I'd be cool with that. So, yeah, you know, Xbox. And, I think it's possible. I, I don't know 100% yet, but I think you might see this man. You don't know who's for shit. He's, he's in top five. So is Goku and Freddy. Though. No, no, he's in my top five. Goku and Freddy Fazbear, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people have been thinking Steve from Minecraft, which means he's better than Goku, which is a low bad no, I would accept Minecraft guy over Goku or Freddy. E exactly, and it will like Freddy Fazbear. I would is is a big no, but also like if he you know like uh, he he won't. But if he ever did make it in, I would be like, well, at least he's a video game character. I think that's. Like, I would say no, I, the reason I would be unhappy is yes, technically he's a video game character, but he's not on any of anything Nintendo. Yeah, exactly. Which I think that is. Which, I mean, you could technically argue would say, um, uh, actually. I think all of them have been. Yeah. In one way or another. I was, I thought I had a character that wasn't, but no. Like, Cloud was the one where I was like, he's never been on Nintendo called the Lost Bullshit. But then, there was, I think, right before. He was on the Super Nintendo. Or, or, or play, um. Uh, He's on the PlayStation. But, oh, yeah, he was PlayStation. I, but, I don't know why I thought he was. But I think just before 
uh, they actually announced Cloud, there was like some super chipified Final Fantasy game that came out on the 3DS that had Cloud in it. So I think Cloud barely squeaked by by being on a Nintendo console. And I think the same thing with Joker. I guess he was in uh, Persona Q, which was on 3DS, I think. Q2? Probably. I don't, I don't know. Persona Q is um, four and uh, three and four. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have Persona Q. Oh, do you? Okay. I never beat it. I never, um, I never, I don't play really any of the Persona spin-offs, so I, I know nothing about them, but, uh... Well, th I, I, uh, this was before I, I got the PS2, so it was my only way of playing anything to do with 3 and 4. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Which threw me through a massive loop, because it's like, here's all the characters from go both games! Hope you know what, who they are, <laughs> their personalities, and their yeah, intermingles. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um... Why is this dog here? <laughs> Wait, there's a robot lady? <laughs> what did I miss? Well, yeah, right. Speaking of, um, speaking of Persona, um, there's a, a woman, I, I think she used to work for Channel Awesome, but she ended up by backing away from them because of all the, everything that happened, which, you know, good on her for getting away from that. But, uh, uh I, I think her YouTube name is Kaluna Reviews. And she does. She's been doing this thing that I absolutely love, where she's just taking like a random persona from a persona game and being like, "This is all of the like historical, mythological context to it, and like where all the inspiration came from and everything." It's oh, that's cool. Yeah, because all their persona stuff is from based on stuff. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and um, it, it is very heavy on spoilers for. Um, Especially like the very first one is super heavy on uh, Persona 3 spoilers, and she gives like very fair warning to all that. But uh, yeah, it, it's it is a good a good listen. No oh, shit. It'd be cool if they did it for the uh, monsters too, because the monsters are also based on a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe she will at some point. She's only done three of them. So yeah. Far, and it, there's a lot to go through, but yeah. And then again, I I'm trying to think. I actually haven't played through any Persona game. The closest I can say of Persona that I played actually isn't Persona, but it uses all it used all their monsters, which was um Double Trigger. Oh. Or yeah. Double Survivor. Double Survivor, yeah. Double Trigger is the other thing that's going to be in that one game. You know the one. Microtran Warframe. Microtransactions? No, not microtransactions. <laughs> there's microtransactions in it. Oh yeah. yeah. Apparently, apparently, Warframe Devil Trigger is a thing. There is going to be a thing. Also, I realized I chose the wrong mission. That's I realized okay. I realized that when I was walking out the when I act, when I was walking out the door, I was like, I think I chose Body Slam Beach. Yeah, it's a B. The one that's annoying here is because of the guys that shoot you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, you better. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I had a thought and it's gone. Um, it was also, yeah, that Nintendo Direct, three seconds of Joker's in-game model. And I was, I was, I was like, yeah, I see him. He's gonna be in the game. So I think I played. Uh, yeah, nice. I played. Uh, played a lot of Persona 3. I played it, uh, used to run Persona 4, but Persona 5 was the first one I beat. This was the first one I legitimately owned. Um, all the other ones were far from friends or whatever. You didn't beat 4? I haven't beat 4 yet. I, I got- You've had it for how long? Uh, hello, I, I, I direct your attention to the current game we are playing <laughs> that I lended you that you've owned for, uh, well over a year and never even cracked into before any That's not true. That's not true. You played the first few minutes. Played the first few minutes and then you never got any further on your own until we decided to stream it. <laughs> until I decided to stream it. So I was like, for streaming, we're doing no more here. I got shoveled. You got shoveled. That man can shovel real well. Shovel Knight confirmed. Whoa! He charged swing that shovel. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> he charged it here. Come on! Stop, stop getting shot. There you go. Thank you. I wasn't wanting to be grabbed. Where are you going? Get a... Yeah, shovel Knight a little. Um, 
Also, shoutouts to Final Fantasy 7 and 9 coming out on the Switch after I bought them on the PS4. <laughs> Ow. And we'd probably enjoy them more on the Switch because. Seven's it's... going on. Seven's going on the Switch? Ow! Ow. Fuck! Ooh. 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 I just. Just do it good. Oh boy. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. I knew about nine, I didn't know about seven. Yeah, seven and nine coming to switch. Uh ten and ten two, I believe, because those are they're all about remasters. They're remasters. But uh um, yeah, ten and ten two are coming to switch as well, but right now they only have dates for seven and nine, which uh, I don't remember the dates very well. Um I think nine is March twenty fourth. Fuck off! Ooh. Damn, that sucked. Um yeah, what, uh... Oh, you got 50,000 on that. Okay. Um, still, I don't think... I still don't think we have a release date for Crystal Chronicles. Maybe we do when I'm crazy. But, waiting for that as well. I, although I'm torn on which one to buy it on. I think I'm gonna go Switch, but... Both are very equally valid options. Switch or... No. What's the option? Switch or... PS4. Mm. Yeah, you see my conundrum? Because, like... That's one of those games I feel like, I mean, you can say about almost any game, but I feel like that game, like, would actually have me playing it on the go. Because I, I don't use the Switch portable all that much. Um, I mainly use it portable. My dock, my dock is a garbage station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, for me, it's like, oh, I got it. Since I play, like, in my main things, we're playing uh, Mario Kart, or, yeah, Mario Kart was the big one at first, and I was like, that looks gorgeous on the big screen, and I'm used to that, because the Wii is always stick to that. Do better. Um, you know what? Then we had Mario Odyssey, which, they were like, hey, play with the Joy-Cons, which, I really didn't, but I still played on the big screen, because I was stubborn. Breath of the Wild, I played on the go a lot more. Um, uh, Hyrule Warriors, I played on the go a lot more. Uh, but yeah, and then it's Smash and No More Heroes, which both had to be big screen. Because I wasn't going to not. Hmm. Yeah. I, mine's mostly handheld because they fucking murdered my handheld device. Oh, what, the 3DS? Yeah. Eh. I, mean, I know a lot of people love the 3DS. And this might be an unpopular opinion, but... Fuck you then. Big man of the three, yes. <laughs> well, you didn't have any of the other handhelds, so. I, I don't like. I, I mean, I liked. The I game. grew up on handhelds. Yeah. Those were my consoles growing up. Yeah, I couldn't. I, me was always plop a console down, get a big TV, get a GameCube controller. That, that's um, nice for you and your family, your money, your your your, mo your family with monies. Uh, well, yeah, that's part of the like having a. Uh, <laughs> having a divorced uh, family in which you, yeah, you get two Christmases. It's like, okay, mom, I want, you know, the uh, Nintendo 64. Or no, okay, mom, I want the PlayStation. Then go to dad's, hey, dad, I want the N64. <laughs> so that's, you know. No, we, we got Game Boy, then the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. I, I got, my DS was given to me by my best friend's mother. Ah. Yeah, but for me it was, I had the Game Boy Color because you had to get into that Pokemon like the second it came out because I was a huge Pokemon fan at like generation one and that was pretty much it. But um, and then- Are uh, you one of those generation ones the best? I'm I'm a little- And you're like hypocrite about the rest of them? I'm not a hypocrite about the rest of them. I will say I like Gen 1 the best. Gen 1 is absolutely my favorite, but I can admit that other generations have solid designs. Um, I just think- the designs that I can appreciate get less and less with every generation, with the exception of some things that you get. Is that the owl? That's the owl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My problem was with the Pokemon franchise. I I started doing it with um. I think I started doing it with um. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Mm -hmm. I started nicknaming all my Pokemon. Oh yeah. So when the newer game came out, I instantly nicknamed them. Oh yeah. So I have no idea what they're actually called. Oh yeah. So that's why everyone's like, decision why like, oh, <laughs> who's that? <laughs> um, also, 
Also, I'm shout out to the next generation of Pokemon going beyond the Switch. Already disappointing. Not the water platypus starter. The water platypus starter has so high like, Yeah, I'm so down. Platypus is the best down. Um, and honestly, it looked like, it did look like a legit Pokemon design. Yeah, did you design that? Like, good shit. Like, seriously. Um, <laughs> fuck you for making it, but that's some good shit. <laughs> fuck you for the false hype. Fuck you for hyping me up. But also, great fucking design. Um, who's at the door? <sighs> Who is at the door? Sorry about that. Um, yeah. It's, uh, I forgot what we were talking about beforehand. Pokemon. Pokemon, right. Okay, so yeah, Platypus is great. Uh, best starter. Um, fuck that guy, forget my hope is up. And also, solid design. And there's an indie game coming out with that. I probably already mentioned this on stream all the way, but there's an indie game coming out with that Platypus. Uh, because it wants fuck to be it. like Pokemon. And <laughs> And that's, uh, I'm de yeah, I'm, I gotta check into that some more, check up on his progress. Um, I like Pokemon. Um, Sun and Moon, it's, Sun and Moon is the one, I, I can officially say Sun and Moon is one of the ones overall I didn't like. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> just, my main gripe on it was, um, it's just, there, there seemed to be there was a, there was a I'm trying to think how to put this. I was not a fan at all of the trials. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like, I remember that being mentioned. Um, I wouldn't mind if the trials were like one or two things to do. Bef like, you want to fight the gym leader? Do this trial. Yeah, that would have be that fun. for like, like have it for every island has a set, and then the best gym leader of that island, you have to do that trial to fight mm -hmm. him first. That would be cool. I could see that. I, it just, I missed the gym battles. Yeah. And the, that was my big thing. It was, I, I did really enjoy the gym fights. Is and, it? um, I have the really, I kind of, I have a very unpopular opinion. I liked X and Y. Oh, really? And it, it turns out a lot of people didn't like it. For me playing it, that was what got me back into it. Cause it seemed like they were doing a lot of return to form with it. Oh yeah. Like even some of the gyms, like. They even brought back the spinny tiles. Like, you step on and you spin yeah, a tile. They yeah. brought that back. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people are kind of get on Nintendo's case because Nintendo, or Nintendo and Geek Freak, they kind of, I think they're paranoid about them, like, trying to cash in on older stuff because, like, they're obviously Gen 1 had a lot of stuff before Gen 2 came out. There was, you know, uh, Red, Blue, there was Yellow, there was Pokemon Stadium, there was, like, I, you know, th there was just a ton of a ton of stuff revolving around Gen One, and people were kind of sick of it. So then, when Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee was a thing, which I'm I'm not a fan of, but people it, that that I feel like that kind of tore the fan base in half. There were people like, oh, I'm sick of them trying to cash in on Gen One. And, they um, do a, they do a, they they pretty much they they give Gen One a reach around almost every game. Yeah. Like look at Sun and Moon, which Pokemon only got a whole um a lowland form. 
Wait, what do you mean which Pokemon only got? Oh, oh yeah, only general Pokemon got Alolan forms. Yeah, sorry, I thought you meant one Pokemon in particular. Yep, I was yep. like, no, there was a bunch of Alolan. Yeah, um, all of them Gen One. Yep. Which those were hit and miss for me. Those really. Like, uh, yeah, that was another thing. I did not like a lot of the Alolan ones. Like I liked. Oh, hi, Sophie. Uh, I liked um, Alolan Meowth. Hate Alolan Persian. Alolan Persian was just a terrible idea. Or that, the, like the big policy swollen yeah. head was a terrible idea. Like if they would have made, again, a more suave Persian like a suave Meowth was. Yeah, that would have been good. I hated that. Um, even though I'm not sure why a lot of people liked it. Maybe because it was a stupid one. I hated the ex executor. I I can kind of appreciate the Executor be just because of how dumb it is. I also it being a thing in Smash Bros. was hilarious. Um, yeah, I not a fan of that. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie, alone Dick uh, Doug Trio that makes me laugh. Yeah, that was this fucking got hair. Yeah. Um, I kind of appreciate a little in our rap. Honestly. Yes, I like Lone Raditz. was good. I hate Raticate. Hate that Lone Raticate with his puffy ch uh, cheeks. I think it's okay. His fat cheeks. Uh, yeah. I, I can't stand that. Um, but I could, um down. <laughs> uh, one down. Honestly, what I, they should have done, I'm surprised they didn't do because it's fucking from Gen One. Uh, Crystal Onyx. That would have been nice. That would have been. From the TV show. Yeah. That was. Ice. It was an ice onyx. Oh, was it ice? Yeah. It, the, the lore was it was it spent so long under. I think it was like it spent so long in the waters in the crystal. Yeah. It became ice. Or it was a or it was diamond and crystal. But yeah, yeah, it was it was more or less an ice onyx. Yeah, and I, that I, seems perfect. And it seems like that's where they got the idea for the Alolan forms. Mm -hmm. But they didn't do it. Yeah, maybe it's because they had the, they were already kind of doing a lot of ice. Alolan characters because there was like Sand That's true. Sand Slash, Vulpix. Um, Actually, um, that was another one. I liked, I like, I kind of like the um, Sand True. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't a fan of the, his uh, weird bull cut. Yeah, the like, it, they were trying to make it look like a. An like, igloo, I'm guessing. Like an Inuit hood kind of thing. But oh, really? Yeah. It just looked like a bull cut to me. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, Ice, the Ice Sand Slash is cool. He was pretty neat. Um, I I feel like there's like a missed opportunity with like um some of the other fire types like I think a um uh like a poison um uh, like a poison uh, uh ponyta or something would be cool with like purple flames and stuff like that um or not even flames but like have it be like smoke and gas coming out of mm -hmm. me instead um maybe like a water growlith or something like that. I don't know um but yeah no they, if they continue with like alternate Forms of Gen One Pokemon, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate it, but like, yeah, I, I honestly, like, I, once, once Gen Three started happening, I became less and less of a fan of the way they were actually handling Pokemon. Funny enough, Gen Three is my all-time favorite. I, yeah, Gen Three, like, which, Gen is, which is funny because I played Pokemon from the beginning, and a lot of people say uh, Gold and Silver is the pinnacle. If you I, like, if you played it from the beginning, so. It's either Gen 1 or Gen 2. I was like, but I played the fuck out of Gen 3. And I'm, again, of the unpopular opinion, I actually enjoyed the contests. Hmm. Um, a lot of people hated the contests. I actually really enjoyed them. It's the fact where I made sure my party, each one of my party, had the level 5 tier ribbon. Oh. Um, on each one. Yeah. Not each category, but each one had one. Yeah, I only really played Gen 1 and Gen 2. I saw, like, there was some stuff in Gen 3. I think the reason people like Gen 2 is kind of the pinnacle is because, like... I will admit, Gen 2 is the perfect sequel. Exactly. Like, I think that's why people say it. It's because, like, it cap Gen 2 capitalized on Gen 1 more than Gen 3 capitalized on Gen yep. 2. Um, Which I do see that. I, do, I would agree on that. Yeah, and, like, I, I think the one of the reasons I was so turned off to Gen 3 is because, like... With Gen One, I was I was grass starter all the way. Loved me some Bulbasaur. Yep. Um, like Squirtle was fine, Charmander was fine, but Bulbasaur was where it's at. Um, Gen Two actually converted me to Water. I thought Totodile was awesome. I loved having I, I loved for alligator being this giant alligator kaiju kind of thing. Um, I was a mix between I liked um, I actually did like Meganium. It was Meganium, and I did fucking love for alligator. Yeah, and uh, then Gen Three was like. 
it, like I looked at the designs in Gen 3 and I was like, oh, well, I, that would get me back into grass starters because I think Trico is great. I love Little Lizard Boy. But. Torche. Fuck you. Like. Then again, I'm a big fan of birds, so a yeah. bird. Anytime, Tor ever since then, if there was a bird starter, I had to get it. Yeah, Torche is great. I just. I don't know. It, like, at the time, I was like, I like Trico more just because I like. To be fair. I like grass. The idea of a grass lizard. But then I started seeing evolutions and I was. To be fair, like, Girl Vile's the shit. Eh, see, I don't like. Or, or is it Grovile? Second, second one. Second one's my favorite. Second one, the second mid. one is Grovile. Grovile. Yeah. Grovile's my favorite. And then Sepnow. Grovile's okay, but it was like, Trico's great, love him. Grovile, man, sure, okay. Sceptile, don't like it. The only um, thing about Sceptile I don't like is his big bushy tail. Yeah, same. And I, I don't know. There's, there's a bunch of other stuff about his design I don't like, but overall, I was just kind of like, no, it's Sceptile. And, um... I mean, even in Gen 1, I was kind of mad on Bulbasaur, or not Bulbasaur, uh, I Venusaur. I liked Bulbasaur and Ivysaur way more, but at, like, I didn't hate Ivysaur, or yeah, Venusaur as much as I hated uh, Sunpai. So I actually really like Venusaur. <laughs> yeah, and, and then, uh, I don't know, and then, yeah, I mean, it was like, everyone seemed to like Blaze King. I don't think like Blaze King's but at the same time, I don't think Blaze King's over the place. I'll give you that. I honestly, I like. I don't mind the other ones. It's Torchic, I just Torchic is adorable, and I like it. Torchic is adorable. Um, uh, I, who's the water starter for Gen Really? Much. Really? Much. I I get. I heard if you like my guess. I heard. I hear you like it. Yeah, I. I like Torchic more than Mudkip. Yeah, I like I actually just out of the three, it yeah, for me it was Torchic, um Trico and then Yeah. So I did like a Marsh Dumps design. Mm -hmm. See every design every design I thought Mike got worse. I liked his design, right. though I will admit I like his I think his um Hold on. Okay. All right. Taking a quick break for dinner, even though we really just started. I got it, but sorry <laughs> yeah. about that. Timing. Right. Yeah, we'll um, we'll be back. Oh, hey, look at that. Why don't we? So after we get back from dinner, we'll do bus. We'll fight the bus. So we'll be back. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about that, but yeah, we'll be back. <laughs>